gentlemen, welcome into the show. <clears throat> it looks like it's a bit of a foggy morning this morning. I hope you guys are having a great day. Well, if you're asking me, I am. I am having a great day. Although we are suspecting to get some ice rain today. So I got up a little earlier today than I normally do when I go out. And got everything ready and here we are going out. It's at 8.35 in the morning already. And I'm already on the road. Usually I don't get out till about 9. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we were su suspected of getting some ice rain. So... Uh, just as I left the house, the wife was saying uh, she looked on the internet there and apparently in Winnipeg already around the perimeter, it's already icy up there. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I really hope I don't run into any icy conditions. Uh, mind you, I do have a fairly decent load. I uh, don't really have to worry about it too much. It's fairly heavy. So, uh, I should have decent traction, but at the same time, you know, you don't need ice rain. That's, that's never good, that's for sure. Speed limit reduced to half. But we are on our way to East Liberty, Ohio. Yeah, I got about 1,840 kilometers to go to make it up there. So, we got our work cut out. We're going to try and do our maximum hours today. Yes, indeed. That's exactly what we're going to do. So, I don't know what else to talk about, but other than that, uh, I'm uh, kind of curious. How did you guys like yesterday's video? And I'm not talking about the video that I created. I'm talking about the way I put it together. How did you like that? Have you noticed? Did you notice it at all? Narrow road ahead. Did it seem different? You know, let me know in the comments below. I would like to hear how you liked the way I put it together yesterday. Yeah, let me see how many of you guys actually knew or noticed or seen it, what happened. But yeah, other than that, let's hammer down and let's get our day started. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I really do. And we have just hit the 37. Uh, 100 mark on subscribers so thank you very much i appreciate that very much so i really do that means a lot to me you know when i first started my youtube channel i couldn't even imagine ever getting to this point and here we are we're making entertaining videos somewhat at least some uh, some of them are educational and so we you know we try different things and do different things and stuff like that we we're not in the script everything is as we go it's how it goes on my channel here but that's it you know here we are guys in Fargo North Dakota yeah that's right and we're gonna go up here to a small truck stop and uh, take our half an hour break ladies and gentlemen it's getting closer and closer to do that, so uh, yeah, that's exactly what we gotta do. Exactly what we gotta do. Oh well, I haven't really shown you guys anything since we left uh, Steinbach, but hey, had to go through the scanner today at the border. And then after that it got kind of dark and cloudy and well it was a little bit cloudy earlier too but it got fairly dark and kind of white and all that stuff and the road got a little bit shitty but not bad you know it was not bad but anyways we're gonna go ahead and go in here and take our half an hour break we gotta do that right i am just leaving fargo right now we're actually we're already a little bit past fargo i guess you could say we are already in moorhead minnesota yeah that's right i see the uh scale flashing lights up there but let's see if we can listen to our uh satellite oh there's cell telling me i have to pull in 
Oh well. I guess because I'm heavy, I'm gonna have to pull her in. I guess that's how it's gonna be today. But that's okay. I scaled it at the yard, so I have a pretty good idea on what my weight is. So we'll have to uh, go ahead and go in here and hopefully they will let us go, right? Because I just got inspected last week, so mind you, I do have a different trailer this time, so things could be different this time, right? You never know. Let's go ahead and pull her in here and find out if they'll give us the bypass lane or if we will have to actually physically get onto the scale. Sometimes when we go past this pre-scale here, then they'll actually scale our truck, right? And then they might just give me the bypass lane here, who knows? Right this here, right where these posts are, that's where they have like a little plate there on the floor. They got like a little bit of a motion scale or whatever you want to call it. So they have a fairly good idea on what your weight is. They usually do. Let's see here. So far we got the green arrow to go on the bypass. Well, that's what we're going to do then. Yeah, same thing here. Look at that. Got the bypass. Yeah. Would have been nicer if I could have just kept on driving by, but hey. Not not every day we get lucky, right? That guy must be something wrong with him because he's got his four ways on and he's sitting on the scale, so that can't be good. Just as I was going out of Fargo, it was starting to get me some really light flurries, so. And it's supposed to start cooling off pretty good with that north wind gusting up to 35 to 45 kilometers an hour it's going to be cooling off pretty good here overnight they say Manitoba is supposed to cool down to minus 19 Celsius that is and it was plus one this morning when I left so that's going to be quite a chalker. <laughs> but hey, that's winter for you. We had a pretty uh, mild few days here, so now it's going to be back to the deep freeze. I have now made it up here to uh, Clearwater, Minnesota, ladies and gentlemen. And guess what? It's 4.30 in the afternoon. So I don't really feel like going into Minneapolis rush hour. I'm just looking at the map here and yeah it looks kind of reddish over there so i said you know what let's take me a little bit of a break here go walk in and probably have me supper especially since it's wednesday that means pasta night here at the clearwater minnesota petro truck stop here inside there at the restaurant they cook it right there in front of you and all that good stuff i think i've shown you guys a couple of times and so i figured you know what let's go in there and have me good supper and then uh, it starts at five o'clock so i gotta wait here a little bit but that's okay you know what i much rather wait here at least i'm not on duty than sitting over there in the rush hour getting frustrated with all the heavy traffic and and all that stuff or even worse get myself into a fender bender because everybody's in a hurry all the time right so i much rather just you know relax over here and do that so so let's go inside and have me some uh, supper and get out of here. My goal is to make it up to Toma now, since I don't have enough hours to make it up to Mauston. Got four hours and one minute remaining and 250 miles to do it. So I would have to do like 70, 75 in order to make that. And I don't really want to do that. I already set it up to 62 today and that's good enough for me. That's good enough. But whatever, you know we'll do the rest tomorrow all right guys we have had us a good night's sleep here in toma wisconsin yes indeed we got here about quarter to ten last night and uh hey now it's the next morning we just woke up figure i go ahead and close off the show and then we'll start a new one yes indeed 
So I appreciate you guys tuning in for another short little vlog here. It was a bit of a crappy day with all that fog and really super windy and snow blowing across the road. So it really wasn't a great day to be videotaping, but hey, we did a little bit anyways. Uh, yes, indeed we did. So with that being said, let's get out of here and let's start a new day. I appreciate you guys tuning in for another show. Come back tomorrow and see what we're up to tomorrow. And if you're new to our channel, we'd love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button down there below. And uh, don't forget to share these videos. Leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you wouldn't mind. Read the description box there. See what I got all in there. And if you didn't like the video also, leave a thumbs down. I don't care. Whichever way pleases you. Whichever way uh, your hat fits on your head that day. So uh, with that being said, thank you for watching. I will look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow morning. Have a great day, everybody.